It's a multi-million dollar crime that leaves heartbreak in its wake, and those who track it say it is run by organized gangs. We're talking about puppy scams. Tonight, consumer investigator Steve Sprasia tells us how one triangle family was left heartbroken and is sharing their story so you don't make that same mistake. An empty crate, unfilled food bowls, and puppy toys waiting to be played with. All of it purchased in anticipation of Millie, a Havanais puppy who warmed the hearts of the Mac family. I was really excited, and I don't know, since we got all the dog stuff, it was building up to that, so I was anxious but excited. Bought and paid for, Millie never arrived, and not having this puppy took an emotional toll on the kids who had lost their mom a few years ago. I didn't think there's people would actually do that. Like scam people like that. Joe Mack found the dog on a website offering home breed Havernese. These dogs usually go for several thousand. Millie was being sold for 700. Why was it so cheap? They were getting um, a whole new batch of puppies the next month and they needed to uh, clear out these dogs. Before telling the kids, Joe Mack wanted to make sure he wasn't being scammed. You know, I looked into the Better Business Bureau, couldn't find anything. I, um, I looked into the American Kennel Club. I didn't see anything, any red flags. He even did a reverse lookup of the photos to see if they had been used elsewhere. And you found nothing out of the order? Nothing, the red flags. Joe Mack later found out the reason why the scammer's website didn't raise any red flags. They just uploaded the website um, the week prior to my searching for it. Just before the puppy was about to be shipped from Florida, Mac got this email saying that Millie couldn't be sent unless he paid for a special bad weather shipping crate to the tune of $1,500. That was his red flag. I called foul on it, and they literally ghosted me from that point. So you tried to contact them again? Yeah and they wouldn't pick up. Turns out the scammer who stole Max $700 is no novice at this, according to the founder of PetScams.com. I was able to find about 10 other websites uh, that have been shut down in the past six months belong to him. Brady says as soon as the sites get discovered as scams, they're shut down and new ones run by the same people take their place. And he says these people are not amateurs. He says the people offering these fake dogs for sale are generally gangs based overseas and law enforcement usually don't pursue them. It is never worth the work involved in, in busting a, a scammer in a foreign country um, the, the cost would be way too high for law enforcement to do. He says the best way to protect yourself from a pet scam is to demand a video chat with the breeder and the dog and you all talking at the same time. Say, I like that puppy. Um, I want to speak to the breeder and I want to see the puppy on video at the same time. So you have a video chat. And I should have asked to see pictures of the dog, uh, the mother and the father, live pictures because everything they had was just stolen from the internet. The scammers also demanded a wire transfer by Zelle, which means the money was unrecoverable as soon as it was sent. I think if I had um, used a credit card, um, that probably would have helped me at least get my funds back. The Mack family hopes their story will help others avoid the same heartbreak that they went through. Working for you, I'm consumer investigator Steve Sprasher.